Hi there, this is the Air of Carthage bringing you a Rome Total War online commentary video. As you can see, I'm playing as the Carthaginians, and if you look off in the distance, you can see my opponent is uh, Player 567 of the uh, GOTW clan. And um, he recognized me online when I was playing and wanted me to post this video, and I told him that I would do so. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I need to post though. And so I'm going to actually combine this battle with another battle that um, another one of my viewers requested me to post. Um, so this is going to be two battles combined into one that's going to illustrate some of the weaknesses of Carthage. Now, um, as you all know, Carthage doesn't have any um, foot archers. The only archers they have access to are on the backs of elephants. Um, so anyway, I'm playing against uh, Egypt, as I said. Off in the distance you can see my opponent's um, spearmen, along with some archers. And then on either flank he has groups of chariots and archers. The chariot's purpose are to protect the archers from cavalry strikes. And so, um, you might say, well why is this a weakness for Carthage? Well number one, I don't have the range to match his pharaoh's bowmen. I brought Valeric slingers, um, but I don't have enough range um, to hit his pharaoh's bowmen. So he can shoot at me at will, and um, this is one of Carthage's major weaknesses. So my strategy in this battle, it almost worked, but not really. Uh, my strategy was to overwhelm his chariots with uh, large groups of light cavalry, and that doesn't work out. And here my Numidian horses get caught on this group of um, chariot archers, and they're going to get routed. So in any case, because of all that happening, um, this doesn't really work out to be a good tactic for me. Let me show you the rest of my army. I have two groups of slingers up front, two groups of Balearic slingers, three units of skirmishers. Skirmishers have opponents against chariots, and that's why I brought them. However, they're very vulnerable to missile fire, and he has a lot of missiles. And then I have um, four units of long shield cavalry, and I had four units of Numidian cavalry. So this battle's kind of long, I'm going to fast forward to another part of the action, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Alright, so um, one of Carthage's strengths is its extremely strong infantry and the Sacred Band infantry. And my opponent knows this, so as I run my infantry forward to engage his infantry, he's simply going to run away. And um, the point of this is because he knows my infantry will beat his, and so he's going to run away for as long as he can and continue to hit me with missile fire. And if he can get me weak enough, then he can hit me with his chariots and rout the remainder of my men. Now, perhaps what I should have done was to take in my cavalry um, to slow his troops down so that I could catch them with my infantry, but then again, he has chariots, and I have to be very care uh, careful of chariot strikes. So here he commits some of his cavalry into a fight, and they rout, and here come some chariots and some more desert cavalry. And so I engage in a fight with them. Because I have a large group of men, um, I do pretty well until the second group of chariots come in, and that's not going to be helping me. And my men start to rout, and once one of them starts to rout, they're all going to go because they just lose their morale. I do get one of his units of chariots there, and I ended up getting actually, I thought my men routed here, I was wrong. Anyway, I route some of his chariots, so I'm feeling a little better at this point. So now I'm going to try and chase down some of his archers. I have to get rid of these archers or else I'll never be able to win the battle. Of course, these are Pharaoh's bowmen, so they're pretty tough. For whatever reason, I didn't pursue his archers. I don't know. Now they're going to shoot me in the back. So anyway, um, not only is Carthage weak against Egypt, um, my own poor tactics made me weak here. As you can see, my men are being picked apart by missiles. Again, I'm going to fast forward the battle to another point. Okay, here's the final part of the battle. Um, one thing you have to remember when you're Egypt is that um, Egypt's strength lays in its chariots and its missiles. And in order to take advantage of that, um, you have to use them properly. And my opponent knew that if he engaged my infantry too early, then my sacred band um, could easily collapse his pharaoh's guards. And so he picked me apart with all of his missiles until he knew that my infantry would be weak enough to be able to finish me off. And even though my infantry had been greatly weakened, I still um, am able to cause some damage to uh, his spearmen. So he was right in not allowing my men to face him straight away. So his last group of chariots is in here. And um, there's not many of them left. But 
they still um, they still give my men the frightened by chariots um, disadvantage, which doesn't help me anymore in this fight where I need my infantry at its full capacity. So like I said, uh, my men are doing pretty well considering how unnumbered they are, but it's only a matter of time until they collapse um, because they've been so weakened by um, archer fire. So now he can bring in his Pharaoh's bowmen to outflank me, and Pharaoh's bowmen are uh, pretty tough for archers, so that'll do the job and my men are out. So that was one of the weaknesses of Carthage, is they're not very good necessarily at fighting against um, uh, missile, missile heavy factions. So in any case, um, let me get you the result screen of this, and a uh, good game to player 567 of the GOTW clan. And um, he wanted me to post this, so I'm doing that for him. So as you can see, that's a clear defeat for me. I had 316 kills, 56 men remaining. And player 567 had 644 kills, 425 men remaining.